how I was tricked into hosting my boyfriend's bachelor's party, not knowing he's getting married. Hello everyone, hello gist lovers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, you know how we do it. If you're seeing this face for the first time, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Click on that subscribe button that is either here, somewhere around here. Click on it, subscribe, like, and share. Join the family where you get all the trending gists. Okay? All right. So, today is another segment of life experience with Octavia Cora. Okay? Check on the playlist and watch all the videos to get the juicy gist. These are real stories. These are not made up stories. These are stuffs that happen to people. Okay? I'm giving you the gist firsthand. Okay? All right. So, today's topic is how I was tricked into hosting my boyfriend's bachelor's party, not knowing. Okay, so let's get into the gist of what happened to this young lady. Okay? As we will not be naming names. Okay? Because we're keeping the identities of the people hidden. So, I'm here to give you the gist. Alright, so I will describe this lady. So you people will just have, you know, clue. Okay. So this lady, she's tall. She's um, beautiful, she's endowed front and behind, her face is on point, you know, she has pointed nose, beautiful lips and eyes and she's, she's just dead gorgeous, okay? Alright, <laughs> so I keep saying, okay, she's extremely beautiful, she's elegant, she's, she's exposed, she's, she's just that lady you know when you, if you see a photo of her I, I wish i could put a photo for you to see but don't worry i will give you all the description so don't worry you're not left out okay so she's tall i think i've mentioned that she has beautiful full legs and curves like she has curves and all you know she's just endowed in all the right places all right so let's just okay so this lady According to her, in her own words, she was uh, she went for an event because she's someone that is into uh, all these kind of like sports and things like that. So she went for one of their events, and then she met this dude, and he too was into same type of. Uh, game but he played for the male team while she played for the female team you know so in the camp where they had the people that you know take part in the game that's where they met for the first time and according to her she was like he is drop dead handsome like he is cool i actually saw a photo okay so that is true he's a tall guy light-skinned you know he has his beard shaved properly he's uh like he's just on point too he's a very very handsome dude like no doubt okay so that's what they met for the first time and they just got talking you know as people that are into same type of uh, sports and things like that so they just they were ju they just started out as friends you know so after they finished, the um, lady went back to her own state and he too. So after, okay, they exchanged numbers and after a few, sorry guys, um, after a few days when they came back, he called her, you know, he her up and like, oh, what's up? Like, what are you doing? Can we go out for a you know, lunch or something. And she's like, okay, why not? Where do you want us to go? Where do you want me to meet you up? And stuff like that. So they met. It just so happened. Okay, I'm skipping some part of time. It just so happened that they were from the same state. Okay, so let me break this down. Um, in Nigeria, we have 36 states. 
okay so there's a possibility that when you go out for all these events you will meet people from all different parts of the 36 states that makes up nigeria you know the country okay so it just so happened that the both of them were from the same state of which i will not say the name of the states because i don't want to give out too much you know so when they met they went out to eat and um that was how you know the guy asked her out and she was like of course i wasn't going to say no he's just too cute for me to say no and she said yes to him and then they started dating and everything was good according to her he was just a perfect gentleman he was that type of guy that you would want to say yes to if he would ask for your hand in marriage you know stuff like that so she said she was she was very happy and she she was showing him off to her friends and you know stuff like that when you have the cool guy you know she wanted to go everywhere with him she was so proud of him she was so so into this guy she loved him with every bit of like every single drop of him she really really loved him from the bottom of her heart so they were dating for like five years then all of a sudden one day he invited her over and when she got there she didn't know what was going on but he actually said uh, said to her like he has a party if she can help him cook because she was, she was a very good cook like he knows that she can cook anything and any any type of meal you want at all she can make so he asked her to come and help you know so she was like why not and she went there he was with his friends and they were you know she cooked and hosted the whole party but the funny part of this whole story is that all this when she was doing all of this she didn't know that it was actually his bachelor's party like they were throwing him you know that last party that guys go crazy they do all they want to do before they go get married that was the party and he had her cooking and serving his friends she didn't know anything and she was like his best friend was acting funny but to her like he's always a very funny guy that's like you, you you really cannot tell what type of trick he he's going to pull up next so she really didn't read any meaning into his uh, actions then like how he was acting that evening but what like like she said when she looked afterward now when she's thinking about it she can see that there was a kind of red sign red flag from his friend because the guy was kind of uncomfortable because the guy is always comfortable around her and always nice to her but probably he didn't like what his friend was doing but he could not say anything to her because he knew she didn't know only for her to finish cooking serving doing everything and she went home the next day out of nowhere she gets the info that he is getting married like he People were like, what? She, she, she didn't know what to say. Like she was, she was short of words. Like she didn't know what to say. She didn't know what to do. And then she went, she wanted to go, but according to her, her friends didn't want her to go. Probably she might go there and create a scene and stuff like that. And she said she just couldn't believe that this actually happened to her. Like he could pull off something like this fast forward I don't want this video to be too long fast forward two years after from from that day she didn't see him like his number was not going through like I guess he changed his phone and stuff like that uh, she could not he moved out from where he was staying so she didn't have any contact and how to get to him so fast forward two years after she saw him somewhere and he started pleading with her like he was sorry that he didn't know how to tell her he, he he just didn't want to hurt her he just felt like if he would go ahead and do it it would be better that way when she, by the time she would find out it's done all right and there'll be you know nothing he or, or she could do about it and he pleaded with her but the funny part at that at that time when he when he saw her after he pleaded with her telling her that he's sorry and he really didn't mean all of this to happen that way and all that and it was like he wanted her back and it was like i'm not happy in the marriage i don't like i'm not just i wish it was you and blah 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 can we come back together now as i'm telling you this he doesn't want to leave his wife but he wants to have his wife on the side and have this lady that he jilted do you understand the, like the, the gods that some people have and she was like i just could not believe this 
and it was just <laughs> out of the world and she was like I can't even believe that he had the guts to say something like this to me you understand but he did and according to her it took her a really long time to get over what had happened but she was able to so I said let me bring this real gist to you if something like this has happened to you before leave me a comment below if you've heard a story similar to this or something let me know let's gist let's talk about life experience let's share the infos we have so it can help one or two people out there everyone needs to be careful you know as you're out there dating and whatever you're doing just be careful and keep your eyes wide open i'm keeping this video shut leave me a comment below for now i'm out okay all right bye guys